Yeah. What's your name? Nyonawen. 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 When I was about 10 years old, I knew I wanted to be in the entertainment business. So every chance I got in school to get a taste of it, I took it. Then I went off to college and I discovered this thing called social media influencing where we got to create our own videos, share them to the world, get followers, and brands to pay you money for you being yourself. And I'm like, yo, that sounds fucking good. What is up, everybody? <laughs> then I met these guys from Alchemy Influence and they said, hey, let's partner up and expand even bigger together. Uh, okay. Like a lot of people and businesses before 2021, everything was blooming and we were ready and motivated to take on another year with a bang. Then of course the unspeakable happened and things got into another direction in a mere split second. Now I'm sure I don't need to remind you all of what happened and still is happening but this became a truly nightmare of a time for everyone and with the additional rise of the pandemic along with everything else, everything was even more out of our control. Fucking sucks. Now, I'm a very, very optimistic person. Ask all my friends. I am the most optimistic person I know. But this, fuck this, man. Shit, this sucks dick, like fuck. But the most positive thing I learned from this is the unity of my people. Now, we may not be the smartest people or the healthiest or the Brightest, you know, we're not particularly good drivers either. You know, we still have a hard time queuing up in lines, but god damn it, for sure, we got the biggest heart and spirit. We got culture, and that's what will remain alive within us wherever we go. By temporarily shutting down, this gave me a lot of time to restructure a lot of our plans. With my people and a lot of people around the world constantly going through a lot of things, I want to provide not just for my family and loved ones, I want to do as much as I can to provide for those in need and it has led me to a path to expand my purpose. started to form my mission in life, my reason for being, if you will. Now, I can't help everyone, but hopefully people will start helping others more one at a time and together, we can do as much as we can. Now, my fans know that my branding has always been about messaging, messages that can resonate with anyone going through almost anything and helping people through my work. Now I want to expand that. I started meeting and talking with a lot of my friends to discuss the ideas on how we can structure a sustainable business that is 100% devoted to charity causes. A lot of positive ideas came through, we're still working on a lot of it, and I am looking forward to launching these in the future. Now this type of project is inspired by my father who built a reclining Buddha in a monastery he grew up at. Even in his passing, his legacy is still doing good deeds for people. His goal was to build a place where people can come and practice their spirituality and be at inner peace. Now I want my projects to cause only positive impacts and help people through my work. And I want to do it my way. Now, um, what's the point in all this? Why is this called my goodbye? It's the end for me. For Terry Wynn. Oh my gosh, is that Terry Wynn? Can we have a picture? Shut the fuck up. No photos, please.
Uh, it's been fun. Uh, I got to make content with the world famous West Coast Customs, meeting major high-end celebrities like uh, Post Malone, Travis Scott, Conan O'Brien, and became best bros with the one and only Ryan Freelinghouse. I'm gonna see y'all bitches later, boy. <laughs> Just being able to be around him and observe and learn from the environment completely shaped me to be incredibly career-driven. Not only was I neighbors with the Logan Paul, I was also able to be around Julius Dean, Lele Ponce, and many other creators at the time, and I'm so grateful to have been able to just observe on how they execute, because that's what I learned the most. Execution. Because without proper execution, your ideas will just remain an idea. And when I came home, I decided to apply the lessons I learned and shape my brand into what it became today. But I've always felt stuck and limited, and for the longest time, I've struggled with wanting to do more, but not knowing where to go or what to do. And as time went by, I didn't feel much passionate about much of anything anymore, because my fame and wealth served no purpose to the world as much as for myself. I no longer felt satisfied with just being an influencer or content creator anymore. And the past two years have definitely taught me that that's not enough in this world. I must do more if I want to achieve more and help more. And uh, I just, I just gotta grow. I came all the way up here not knowing where I was gonna go. That's how it is in life. You may have one plan, you may have no plan. But sometimes it's just freaking sometimes it's just freaking fulfilling to just go without a plan, you know? <sighs> to all the fans, haters, critics, everyone. Family, friends, loved ones, for all of the support. Thank you. Thank you so much because when I was 10 years old, I prayed that in the future I would be who I am today and I am very, 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 very grateful that I accomplished all of the things that I prayed for and it's with all of your support. Shit, fuck man, it really is the end for Terry Wen, isn't it? But you know, it is also the start of New Nine Win! What's up? What's up? What's up? I am now going to embrace my Myanmar name given to me by faith and parents. I am taking this brand and career to another route. Rebranding in the structure of focusing more on the business side of things and to do more serious work. I will be focusing more on my artistic side a little bit more, my filmmaking passion. I will be wearing the director's hat more, telling my stories, my visuals, my art. But don't worry, I'll still do my stupid comedy shit on the side, of course. That's just me, my personality, so there's no end to that. I will continue to entertain you all as much as I can. But yeah, pss, you think I'm gonna end? Pss, bitch, I ain't a little bitch. And uh, yeah, just before I leave this human realm, I will just do as much as I can to make some things 
better, and hopefully that can make a lot of things better. Well, slow and steady, I guess. Oh, oh, and yeah, um, just, just one more thing.